Can someone please explain to me why every rod manufacturer, whenever they come out with a new rod, if they market it like it's a freaking condom? Like, ultimate insensitivity, a pleasure to use? You can feel it from the grip to the tip? I just came up with another one, but I'm trying to keep, I, I don't want this to be a dirty channel. So if you're new to the channel, please, if you like what you see at the end of the video, of course, not right now, but give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, double tap the thumbs down. It's super effective as well. I would be super, super excited if you subscribed. I'm trying to get to 53 subscribers. I know it's really difficult. I'm at 50, but that 53, it's a special number for me. I'm trying so hard. So it's a three-tiered system that we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the baseline of what you absolutely, like the cheapest way of getting in, and then adding a few dollars more to getting into the same thing, but with just a few more items, and then some optional stuff that will make fly fishing just that much more enjoyable. Anyways, let's start with the meat and potatoes right here. This is the Max Catch Extreme Rod. Now, I will get into this whole thing, but for the money, you are not, I, I'm telling you right now, there is nothing out there that will perform like this rod can for the price. Right now, online on Amazon, this is $120 Canadian. Now, I don't, I won't have any links in the description about this rod. I'm sorry about that. You'll just have to go and, and go on Amazon and Google it and, or whatever and find it there. But it is the Max Catch Extreme Rod and Reel Combo. All right. And it doesn't just come with the rod and reel. It comes with a few other things. So it comes with a, um, it comes obviously with your rod. Um, and the reel comes with backing. It comes with fly line and it comes with a leader. Now the leader is attached via nail knot. It is not a loop to loop connection. So they're going to save a few bucks there, uh, in manufacturing, but that's okay because you'll learn the nail knot. Eventually I will make a video about it. It's super easy, but Here's the cool thing. You actually get nippers with a nail knot tool attached to it, so it makes things a lot easier. Personally, I've never used a nail knot tool, but I'm sure that they work really well. Anyways, moving along here, you also get a uh, fly rod case. This is the case right here. It's, you know, Cordura wrap. This is like your standard case that you get in most combos. I will say that I've uh, thrown this around in the truck and everything, and it still looks pretty dang brand new, so. I don't know what the heck it's like, what kind of cordura it is, but it's it's pretty dang tough. Moving along, you got a fly box, uh, you got 12 flies. They're mostly, uh, they're, they're, they're all just wet, dry flies. Um, you got a zinger, a zinger is, is kind of a cool, uh, a zinger is a really cool concept. Um, it's essentially like a little uh, retractable leash. Uh, you can put your nippers on there or some forceps and attach it to your backpack or you know your vest or whatever the heck you're wearing so it, you don't lose your stuff as easily. So that's cool. Um, as well, there, there's a, a little reel case that comes with it so you can protect your reel uh, if you're not gonna have it in the case. Uh, and a hat, you get a hat. Now, for $120 Canadian, I, I challenge you to find a better kit that comes with all of that stuff. I've been around the block a few times and uh, I honestly, I haven't seen anything like that. Now, I will say this, you will support your local fly shop. I promise you that because the next tier system you got to go in there and you got to finally meet the people that are going to get you catching fish. But before we get there, let's talk a little bit more about this rod. So bear with me. We're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this rod. But just before we do, I got to tell you, it is not my rod. It's actually my father's, but I have used it quite a bit for two seasons. It's three seasons old um, and it's just holding up great. Um, so we're just going to go over a few things about this rod. So getting back to the to the back here, it's got a double up locking reel seat, um, which is really nice to see, especially for, for, for a price point like this. You don't really see that. Like it really cinches it in. It locks that reel in very, very well. Um, looks just like a, a regular standard aluminum uh, anodized uh, reel seat. So moving along here, 
This has to be one of the biggest selling features um, of this rod. The grip, at least on this one, this grip has been going strong for three years and it looks better than any of my other rods that I have, including my Orvis rod. I mean, and and as well, the the, the grip, this it's a, it's a half wells grip, um, you know, reversed, I guess, because that side, anyways, doesn't matter. Um, it's so ergonomically correct. It fits so nicely. And uh, I'm a thumb on top kind of guy, but if you're a Euro kind of uh, person, you want to get into Euro uh, nymphing and all that, I know that's a little beyond the scope of this video, but you can do that easily. It, it really is comfortable putting the finger on top or with the thumb. It's it's uh, really well thought out, but the grip, man, it, it holds, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, it's just so good. Um, moving along the rod, uh, as I will mention this, that it is a uh, eight and a half foot four weight, this one. Um, it comes in four sections and it's this really cool green uh, wrap on it um, with uh, darker green wraps for the uh, ferrules. You know, nothing nothing to write home about. Uh, two str uh, strip guides that are just, you know, looks like regular steel to me. And the snake guides are, you know, regular chrome steel as well. And that's about it. I will say that um, it's it's a it's a faster rod so uh i don't know what they coin it as on their website if it just says medium fast but it's on the faster side of medium fast if it is it's a really snappy rod it's got a great uh it's got great stiffness in the in the butt section so you could actually fight fish with it um i can't say any more good things about this rod i i, I you know what i hate to say like for the price this rod's great no 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 i i for, like hands down this rod in any price point is a great rod it's very accurate at least up to 40 feet it's very very accurate and you're not really going to be fishing past 40 feet um i just don't see you're, you're not going to do that you're not going to be bombing casts like across the river for for, for a, a trout you'll you'll find a way to get to it we're going to talk about the reel for a second there's some plasticky parts on here. The uh, the drag um, it works. The drag does work, but the um, the drag dial is really it doesn't it doesn't really work that well. Uh, but I mean, it's a real. It just holds your fly line. You're not really. This isn't really the selling feature of this whole kit. But it's something that you should know. Um, the, uh, the the line that comes with it is um, it was put backwards on this rod, so I had to undo everything and redo it up, um, which was for me not a big deal. But if you're new and you don't realize it, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the bum because you're going to go out there and you're going to uh, start casting, and your casts are just not going to work that well. You're going to be working too hard, and things are going to fall apart for you. So. Um, just be mindful that you know the the weight forward portion of this line should be you know within the first you know 30 feet of the line if you don't see it getting bigger by then uh, it might be uh, you're probably in the running line part portion of this and the running line and the weight forward excuse me the running line and the weight forward portion of this is is one solid color uh, when you get into more premium lines they will uh, separate those in different colors uh, something contrasting uh, anyways moving along uh, it comes with a leader which which is really good uh, it was a 4x leader it lasted qu quite a while actually um, so if you're gonna get into this and you know you're gonna snag up a lot and all that um you're gonna you're gonna get a couple days out of your leader before you know you gotta add some tippet now we talked about the price of of this now you can take this kit and you can go out fishing uh for trout and um you're gonna be fine uh, there's nothing more that you're gonna need but there's gonna be some stuff i think that you should purchase that are gonna make things a lot easier and let's get into that now so this is my other, I call this my non-negotiables. Um, there's a few things that you need to buy, I think, so you can get out there and fish a little bit more. Now, if you're like the most budget conscious person there is, just go out with the $120 kit and see if you like it. But if you, after a few days of fishing, if you're just um, yearning to to learn more and you want to catch more like you, you just you basically got hooked into the sport rest assured for an additional uh, another 40 45 bucks you are going to get 
a lot more out of your combo. So let's go over a few things here. So I think uh, first and foremost, you should have some forceps or some pliers. Uh, it's just gonna make things a lot easier. Sometimes you can even, um, uh, you know, it's for putting on and off split shot, it helps. Uh, for taking some hooks that kind of get jammed up inside a, a trout, you know, you can safely get them uh, unattached and so on and so forth. So forceps or pliers are really, you know, like a small, if you're going to get pliers, make sure they're really small, like a needle nose, something like that. But get uh, forceps, they're about six bucks or so. Another thing is tippet, all right? So um, tippet, I think you should buy two spools of tippet and 4X uh, would be one of them and 2X would the, be the other one. So moving it along, strike indicators is what they call them in fly fishing, but it's really a bobber. I think you need to buy a package of bobbers uh, for fly fishing and they call them strike indicators. I know it's weird, whatever. That's gonna cost you about five bucks right there, but you'll be set for a little while, all right? Moving along, buy another, uh, buy another leader. Um, or buy two. I think you should buy two leaders and buy 4X leaders and that way you can always build up uh, your leaders as you need. And I just, it's it, like it's a non-negotiable. You'll need leaders eventually. So just get a two pack of leaders for five bucks each. Um, you know, the Cabela's ones in Canada, they're okay. They, I've used them, they're not bad. Uh, I've used uh, <laughs> really expensive ones, but now I just make my own. But that's, that's another video. So next, I think you need split shot. Now, the reason why is sometimes you're gonna be uh, running into some really quick water, and if you can't get your flies in the strike zone, you're not gonna catch fish. So a little thing, a split shot, and it has a bunch of different split shot in it, eight bucks, there you go, you're good to go. Did I say fly floating? I don't think I did. You're gonna need this for dry flies. So get a little thing of fly flo floating. It's five bucks. It's uh, it comes in like a little silicone -y type of um, uh, consistency. You just kind of put that on before you ever use it, okay? And it'll keep your uh, flies dry for quite a while. You don't need the silica desiccant powder stuff uh, for now. We'll leave that for another time. Um, by the way, when you're uh, dry fly fishing. They, we're talking about maybe 10 to 20 percent of your fishing will be dry flies everything else is is underwater so just get the little floating you'll be all right so if we add all that together um we're at 163 dollars all right so and this is canadian funds once again i will remind you um so that's going to leave us to uh, with another 30 or so dollars and i think that is best uh, spent at the fly shop go to your local fly shop find wherever they are or if they're if they're not anywhere around you contact them you know online or whatever and just say i need some flies for fly fishing i'm new to it and they will help you and my suggestion is that you get about three streamers and those will be like a woolly bugger that kind of thing but that this is the, this is where your fly shop and their experience will help you but you're gonna get some streamers uh, you're gonna get some dry flies like about three or four dry flies some like uh, little mayflies that kind of stuff maybe a BWO it doesn't matter let them find find it for you that's what they're there for and the rest of it, I think you should spend the majority of your money on nymphs, about $15 worth. So $15 for streamers and dry flies, which doesn't get you that much, but it gets you enough. And uh, 15 bucks for nymphs. You put that all together and you're good to go. If you're gonna buy nymphs, maybe look into, uh, if you don't wanna, if you wanna save money and not use split shot, get all beaded weighted nymphs. They're gonna cost a little bit more, but they get you down really quick. So you can discuss that with your fly shop. So moving along, I'm gonna to talk to you about a few things that I, that I think you, you should definitely take a gander at. So, waders. And now, waders come in different shapes and sizes and flavors. You can go from, you know, mild to wild with them, but let's just talk about keeping really, really on budget here, and I will show you a couple. So, first and foremost is 
just your regular rubber or neoprene boots like muck boots i use those for a couple seasons they're great um i still use them if i'm if i'm going in somewhere where it's really shallow to get in no use of putting on waders for that now if you're gonna um and this is more for when when things are really cold out so if you're fishing in uh closer to the summertime the water temperatures start to warm up don't don't fish in anything above like you know the high 60s you know in the mid 60s and all that you're you're good for for going for trout after that leave the leave the guys alone so uh back to the waders you can go and just get your standard everyday rubber boots or you can get hip waders all right so that's the next step up they go about up to your you know to your hip to your crotch area and you know i've used them extensively uh for 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 a year and uh i i the only problem that i've ever encountered is um you'll sweat a lot in them they don't have any breathable technology if if you buy the cheaper ones and uh you're gonna get wet so maybe wear some quick dry pants underneath so that's another thing to think about chest waders are, are probably the most versatile because you can go from really um shallow water to really deep stuff another thing is uh, this is another one is is a net um, I think for 30 bucks you can get a pretty good little net don't buy the uh, cheap um, a nylon type nets buy at least a mesh or a rubber net it saves the fish it helps them out and uh, and, and, and it's just not as bad for for any aquatic life out there so just kind of Let's 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 uh, let's keep uh, keep on conserving if we will. An another thing is sling pack. I use a sling pack um, or a hip pack or there's something where you can keep all your tackle with you uh, at all times, as well as like even a bottle of water, that kind of stuff. Um, I think that's very very uh, useful to have, especially on like a warmer day or sunny day. You'll you'll get dried out really quick. So. I know that was a lot of uh, information to digest, and I hope uh, I hope you kind of were stuck at least to the end with me, and um, I hope that you got something out of this video. If you did, please, I would really love a subscription to my channel or uh, even a thumbs up for the video. That I mean, this it, this is, helps me greatly, and it also tells me what you guys want to see and and uh, you know forms the channel going forward. I am a small channel right now but I'm trying my best. Thank you very much. I'm Milan. Have a great day. Bye-bye.